hydroforming! <laughs> this is the process we use high pressure water to form metal. Easy way to imagine this, like when you fill a water balloon up, put the balloon over the tap, turn the tap on, the balloon expands, creating a 3D object from something that was initially 2D. Swap the balloon for sheets of metal, swap the tap for something we've all got in our garage, or in my case, my neighbour's garage. A pressure washer! <laughs> These things will kick out 100 bar. Huh. First thing we need to do is make an adaption for the end of the hose, because you can't just shove that into a bit of metal. So, let's take the thing to bits. Right, we split this in half. And we want a little brass thing on the end there. Right, let's uh, shove this in here. Right, now we've got a uh, quarter BSP tap. You can get these off eBay, they're pretty cheap. And then we can wind this in here. Now we've got a thread in the end, we can get like a little nipple or a fitting or anything like that and connect that into the end and that gives us a way to connect our hose to our workpiece. Okay, we need something to form. So to start with I've got some 1mm mild steel sheet. Safety. So I've cut a few different shapes out. Drill a hole in one of the plates and then weld the two together around the edges and then above the hole weld a steel plumbing fitting. You could also put this in the side or anywhere really, it doesn't really matter. Now then, for the attachment, I've got a load of plumbing fittings. I'll put all the links on my website where you can buy all these. I've also managed to get a pressure gauge so we can actually see what pressure's inside. Now, we can wind that onto the plumbing fitting, like so. That'll go on there, which is a lot easier to do when I've got to concentrate on the camera. And then the hose can wind into there and then pump it up. But also I've got a little cap which I can undo because we've got to get the air out. We don't want any air in there because air is compressible. And then if one of the welds was to fail or anything, we'd have kind of like a little miniature bomb really. While it's just got water in it, it doesn't matter. Water's non-compressible. If it just gets a hole in it, it'll just pin out, it'll just spray a little bit of water out and then it will just the pressure will just reduce immediately. <laughs> so we're hoping. Right, we'll try the square one. <laughs> Pressure in it now. We're only 20 bar that went to. I think we burst it. This is actually not that bad. We've kind of made a metal pillow. Check that out, ladies. I think that's quite cool. I don't want to use it for, but. <laughs> There's a big kink in it. Oh, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Seems to have got a bit of a buckle in it somehow. Circles don't work. As this thing tries to grow, the sides try and contract and they've got nowhere to go because they're all joined and you end up getting a horrible kinky mess. Kinky mess. But maybe these different shapes. This one hopefully is gonna make a funnel. This is gonna be like a two-stroke exhaust chamber. Right, let's see how this goes. This is actually really cool. This does resemble a two-stroke exhaust, just need to get rid of the dents. And this pillow shape thing, even though I thought it was quite useless, if you just cut the middle out of it, you could actually use that to cap off a square piece of pipe with like a bit of a domed head. And then this, well this is going to be an awesome funnel or a cone or something like that. Chop it off there, use the useful bit in the middle. Now, I want to get rid of this horrible snotty weld, so I'm going to get the grinder, cut it out, re-weld it up. Put the pressure washer back in it to get rid of all the little small dents and stuff. Stick it on the old polishing machine and voila! A lovely cone. Now then, what are we going to do with it? I'll come this way! There we go, it's a fantastic process. It even works on stainless steel as well, which I was quite shocked at. But, we've had an experiment, we've had a play, see what works, what doesn't work. Next video, we're going to try and make something out of all this. <laughs>